Hi everyone, uh, I'm uh, John, co-founder of uh, Byte. I'm with uh, Charles, uh, our lean engineer, and Michelle, our uh, co-founder and CEO. And we're very happy to have you today. Um, as mentioned in, my, in the email I sent you one hour ago, unfortunately, genes won't be able to, to make it to our call. So we, we just adapted our call to be more interactive and uh, telling you more about uh, what's in store for Airbyte. Today is our first community call, uh, and we, um, I'm gonna spend like just five minutes uh, telling you about uh, Airbyte uh, and also where, where we are in terms of community uh, progress. And Charles uh, will explain to you what happened in March, what we did, uh, and what's in store in the next month. And then we'll go into a Q&A session. Unfortunately, as a gene scale would, uh, caching use case, we will reschedule that to another community call. Um, so first thing, um, if you don't know about Airbyte, we are uh, like the upcoming open source uh, ELTT being optional standard. Uh, so we're really focusing on EL and we have a, a UI and API and we're working on a declarative uh, also config, uh, interface. And what sets a, a Airbyte apart is really that it's really out of the box. So you can just start replicating data in just a few minutes. Um, and our vision is really to commoditize data integration by addressing the long tail of connectors. Right now we support uh, around 60 connectors and our goal is to support at least 200 by the end of uh, the year. And being open source, that makes uh, Airbyte connectors customizable to address your needs. And that's a big difference with other uh, closed source approach like five trans DJ Dino. Um, what's installed so is that uh, to become the, to really commoditize data integration, we need to make building and maintaining connectors very easy. And this is something we will touch base on you know, in the next month or so. Um, so also what I would say is that in 2021, our focus is just to make Airbyte work. It's really focusing on the open source technology and make Airbyte work, whatever your data infrastructure, whatever your architecture stack, your connector needs and volume needs. So that's our focus, our entire focus for uh, 2021. And so since we started, uh, so we started on this project in July, started with the, end, uh, the first version of the product end of uh, September, we've seen like a lot of adoption. Right now we have uh, reached more than 1000 companies that have uh, connected the source, connected the destination, sync data successfully with Airbyte. And also, we've also seen uh, a lot of growth in our community and very thankful to them because they bring in a lot. Um, on Slack, well, right now we've got more than 350 weekly active members. And in terms of contribution, uh, now about 20% of the connectors are coming from contributors and this percentage is growing. And all the issues that are being contributed also expose us to new use cases and enables us to strengthen the platform and the connectors. So now I will let Charles uh, show what is what we've done in the roadmap last, last month and the next month. Great, thanks, John. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna sort of walk through some of our focuses for, for the past month. Um, probably a good thing to point out is what's in this slide is not everything that we've done. I think a lot of our time has been spent getting to interact with our community, both on Slack and through GitHub issues. And that's been, the feedback we've received has been massively helpful in figuring out our roadmap. That all being said, I do wanna call out sort of like four major things uh, that we made a lot of good progress on in March. Um, the first is CDC for Postgres. Um, we should be launching that on Monday of next week. CDC, I think, is probably like the most requested thing uh, anywhere you look right now, uh, and for good reason. Um, it's really a key part of any ETL or ELT pipeline. Uh, so we're really excited to launch that, and, and we appreciate everyone uh, sort of so vehemently encouraging us to move forward with that. Um, the next one is um, also uh, one that got pushed up to the top of our roadmap due to um, community support. 
uh, was creating an integration with Airflow. This one is also just about to be released. Uh, where we have created, we actually had a community member create an Airflow operator. Um, and that will allow you via Airflow to trigger Airbyte, trigger replicating data with Airbyte. Um, and that's going to be coming out with the next um, release of Airflow. So we're just gated on, on that release there. Um, and then the last piece of the core system I want to talk about, well, actually the core and the connector system, um, is improving the story around the upgrade experience. For those of you who have been with us since maybe as early as like November, uh, you know that the answer to how how do I upgrade Airbyte was you start from scratch each time, which is obviously a pretty poor story for a production ETL tool. We thank you for bearing with us as we were working that out in Alpha. But at this point, we have, I think, a pretty strong story around how you move from version to version um, and retain all of your configuration and job history. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement, and we want to make that an even easier process in the future. Um, and that's, that's something we'll be looking at in the next couple months. Um, but we've improved that story so that you can really start to use Airbyte as a tool in your production system. And then lastly, uh, we spent a, a bunch of time uh, pushing out new connectors, including Oracle, Mongo, GitLab, Instagram, Google Audit Logs. Um, and I think this is just the beginning. I think you'll be very excited to see that our pace for pushing out new connectors will um, increase in the coming month. So it's actually a good segue. Let's move forward to April. Cool. So I think really our top line focus in April is to make Airbyte the easiest way to create sources. Um, we are exploring a low code approach right now. So we're essentially, if you've ever built a source before, you'll notice that there's tons of stuff that you just do over and over again. The auth story is pretty similar from connector to connector, um, for instance. And so essentially what we're trying to do is build a low code approach to abstract away all of the things that you do the same every time for every source and make it as trivial as possible and as fast as possible. And the byproduct of that is safe as possible to create new sources, um, really with the goal of it should be easier for you to create your source in Airbyte than it is for you to go spin up a cron yourself. We really want Airbyte to be the easiest way of pulling data out of any data source. Um, the next big project is adding uh, support for custom DBT models. This is another one that we've just had sort of like resounding feedback from the community on this being really important. Um, obviously, we support some basic normalization. These are some sane defaults that we think make sense for people uh, as they are spinning up their ETL pipeline. But we know like that this customization isn't enough for a lot of our customers. And we have a lot of people who are very advanced with DBT and really want to be able to cut and, and transform and normalize their data um, in a lot of different ways. And so what we're hoping to do is give you an easy way of adding that toolbox uh, as you're setting up your pipelines in Airbyte. Um, and then sort of like one of the one of the other things, and this is again coming a lot from um, community feedback, is trying to get Airbyte to a state where uh, our reliability story is better on larger data sets. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great feedback around for really long replication jobs. If things fail in the middle, you have to go back to the start. That's obviously a little bit frustrating. And so our goal is to make it so that we checkpoint um, during replication so that even if a job fails in the middle, you don't have to start from the beginning. We'll, it, Airbyte will remember what data it has already moved. Um, in, improving throughput for all of our uh, data warehouse destinations. Um, we've gotten a lot of great feedback on Slack um, about some performance issues there. We've gone ahead and addressed um, major performance issues in the Redshift destination already. Um, and we're looking to optimize all of our data warehouses. Um, and then in, in adding to our destination support, um, we know that there are a bunch of major relational databases like SQL Server, MySQL, um, and MongoDB that we don't support as destinations yet. We're planning to roll those out in the next month. 
and then as well as just a handful of other reliability improvements. And then lastly, as I alluded to sort of as our, in our low code approach for making uh, connectors easy to, easier to build, we plan to be launching uh, numerous new connectors in the coming month, leveraging some of the tools that we'll be working on to make that process seamless. I think um, that gives you sort of a good idea of March and April. So I can pass it back to John. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charles. Uh, just before we go into Q&A, uh, I'll stop the screen sharing. Um, sorry, I, I was made aware that um, it was, the presentation was just into a thumbnail at the beginning. We will be sharing the slides in any case, so you will have access to the graphs or anything, information. So don't worry about that. Um, we have a very quick poll to, uh, to show you, uh, and we would like to know what is uh, the features that you are the most looking forward. So if you go at the bottom right and click on poll, you should be looking at the uh, this question. Just uh, uh, I will let you vote, and that will be a very valuable information for us. Yeah, Eric, uh, thank you very much for, for the comment. You know, the, the month of February, we've really spent a lot of time making, like fixing lots of broken windows into a, into a, into a byte. So having that kind of comment is, is, a, is, really, a, is really great for, for the team and the, the community members who've been uh, working on, on their bytes. Um, so thank you. But it, it seems like low code approach should be like uh, to build building connectors should be uh, the priority. <laughs> that was our, our feeling too. <laughs> but that's why it's at, it's at the top of the list. <laughs> so good intuition. Uh, I think yeah, everybody asking us about about it was a, a pretty strong signal. Just trying to see what are the next strong pieces that we need to focus on for the for the next two or three months. That's, that's going to be, that's good. That's great. Hmm. Okay. Well, John. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry. Can yeah. I say one thing? I didn't, I didn't know Marcus was here and I just want to call him out as the person who did the airflow operator who, who contributed the airflow operator. Um, so thank you for doing that. As he posted in the chat, airflow is releasing it on, on July 4th. So. And and also Oracle DB, not to forget Oracle yeah. DB, which is uh, one of the top asked for like source database. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet he means April seventh. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you, Marcus. We appreciate uh, it. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, well, so maybe a. Uh, some closing words. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Shri. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you very much, uh, everyone, for for attending our first community call. So that's the first one. I know there are a ton of things that we can improve. We're really sorry about the last minute change, especially that you know that's the kind of thing where the community exposes to us to a, a use case that we had no idea about. I don't want to spoil it. It has to do with caching. It's amazing. So we hope to get Jin uh, in one of our uh, future sessions so he can talk to you about how he, he, uh, how he primes his, his caches with uh, using Airbyte. Um, and yeah, so the, until the, the next community call, uh, feel free to join our Slack to book one-on-one -on -one session with us. Uh, as I have like, on my side, I have a large part of my calendar that's dedicated to it, where I work with people on, okay, this is how you can build a connector, or this is how you can solve a nearby problem, and the team is doing the same. So feel free to book these sessions or just reach out to us on uh, on Slack. And yeah, thank you very much for coming today. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll announce the, the next one soon. Thank you, John. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I expect my calendar to fill pretty quickly now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the URL for Michelle's calendar. Don't hesitate. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Bye. Bye.